Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we are going to talk about Debussy's troubled childhood. Debussy was born on August 22, 1862, in saint germain en laye saint anne on the northwest fringes of Paris. He was the eldest of the five children of Manuel Akil Debussy and his wife, Victorine, née Manouri. Debussy Sr. ran a china shop and his wife was a seamstress. The shop was unsuccessful and closed in 1864, the family moved to Paris. In 1870, to escape the siege of Paris during the Franco-Prussian War, Debussy's pregnant mother took him and his sister Adele to their paternal aunt's home in Cannes, where they remained until the following year. During his stay in Cannes, the seven-year-old Debussy had his first piano lessons, his aunt paid for him to study with an Italian musician. Debussy's talents soon became evident, and in 1872, aged 10, he was admitted to the Conservatoire de Paris, where he remained a student for the next 11 years. At the Conservatoire, Debussy initially made good progress. Marmontel said of him, a charming child, a truly artistic temperament, much can be expected of him. Another teacher was less impressed, Emile Durand wrote in a report, Debussy would be an excellent pupil if he were less sketchy and less cavalier. A year later he described Debussy as desperately careless. In July 1874 Debussy received the award of Duxi im Excessit for his performance as soloist in the first movement of Chopin's second piano concerto at the Conservatoire's annual competition. He was a fine pianist and an outstanding sight reader who could have had a professional career had he wished, but he was only intermittently diligent in his studies. He advanced to Premier Excessit in 1875 and second prize in 1877, but failed at the competitions in 1878 and 1879. These failures made him ineligible to continue in the conservatoire's piano classes, but he remained a student for harmony, solfege and, later, composition. With Marmontel's help Debussy secured a summer vacation job in 1879 as resident pianist at the Chateau de Chenonceau, where he rapidly acquired a taste for luxury that was to remain with him all his life. His first compositions date from this period, two settings of poems by Alfred de Musset, Ballade à la Lune and Madrid, Princesse de Espagne's. The following year he secured a job as pianist in the household of Nadezhda von Meck, the patroness of Tchaikovsky. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.